Hello, this is Retro Marky, and well, as you can see by those eBay prices, three grand starting bid on Altair 8800 is a bit out of my league. And, and if you're watching this channel, it's probably out of your league as well, to be honest. But anyway, with the little gadget that I showed previously, you can spend around £15 and get your own Altair 8800, like the one you can see with your eyeballs right now. So just a couple of things, if we hit F12 we've got a couple of options. We can emulate the real CPU speed of the system in question, at the moment I've got it on the K Pro. We can change the colours of the terminal, the keyboard, the number of rows and a couple of other things. So because I'm more of a gamer and a hobbyist what I'm going to do is leave the CPU speed um, super quick so I can show you a bit of Space Invaders. So this system here runs as you can see CPM and we've got 63k of RAM. If we go into the directory we've got uh, an A drive or a virtual A drive with the CPM files and also mBasic. Into the B drive what I've done is put some games using a PC and a terminal now I did have some problems with TerraTerm, but uh, I did find the old, actually it's the old Microsoft Windows Hyper Terminal seemed to work just fine for transferring files via a virtual serial port. So let's have a look at Aliens, which unfortunately has nothing to do with the movie. But it is a game that will be familiar to most of us watching this channel. Now, I did have a few problems figuring out the keys on this. Z, left. Well, let's try it anyway. Let's go for not bloodbath. We come in peace. Okay. There we go. I don't have any sound plugged in at the moment. Look at that. I've even got the alien ship made out of uh, some numbers. Probably not spot on perfect, but for our demonstration purposes, it's pretty much fine. As you can see, we've got a working Space Invaders, and we didn't need to spend three grand plus to do so. Just 15 squid rooney from some dodgy Chinese eBay seller or something like that. But jokes aside, I do really recommend this device. Um, Another thing I'm going to do, so I did make some single board computers and the actual reason I bought this device was not to do this um, although I've decided to keep this as it is because um, you're not flashing an SD card but actually flashing the internal um, flash ROM and I don't want to mess around so I think I'm going to buy another one and then I'm going to create this new one into a terminal emulator so stay tuned for that fun and excitement can we quit out? We can. One more quick game. As you've been so good today. Uh, up is W Z A N S W Z A N S. Okay. W Z A N S. Kind of weird keys, but. <laughs> oh, this is this is me. Okay, it's quite quick. Have, you, have I got a jump? Oh, I've got a jump. Right, so if, so if you're a bit confused, I'm that there. That P. There we go. Wee, wee, wee. It's even ladders. Because um, it's not running at the original speed, it's actually quite quick and quite smooth. It's like a very primitive early Chucky egg of sorts. But without flying chickens. I say frying chickens, I meant flying chickens. They're probably fried. Anyway, that's probably enough for this video. Uh, so there we go, that's my quick look at a K Pro computer which is emulating an Intel 8080, uh, 80, is it? I think. Uh, on a very expensive computer made in 1974. Oh, what's that? Yahoo! <laughs> Whatever happened to Yahoo?